Hi, I'm Sophie. Welcome to my world while I build out my van, where I share with you how I'm building it out myself with a lot of help from my dad, my cousin, a lot of other professionals too. I recently left my peaceful married life in Red Lake, Ontario because I have to see where following my dreams will lead me. believe I'm still tweaking my water system. I mean, the original idea was to have a separate tank and pump, one for the sink and one for the shower. While I did really like my sink pump, refilling it always led to four days or so of water dripping all over my floor and into my cabinet. I never knew when it was actually really full because it was black. Y'all remember this wonderful water system that uh, we painfully installed here? Well, the truth of the matter is that it leaks a lot. Like, every time I fill it up, it leaks for about three days after. Um, no matter how much putty and caulking I put here. So, I'm hoping that the same guy that's going to be putting hot water to this can just tap it onto my big tank at the back, which is so much easier to fill. So, we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So we don't have any more leakage. See, it's already ruining half of my cabinet here from all the leaking. So I finally found a tank, a gray water tank, that will fit perfectly in this cabinet next to my fresh water. So I have one of the drain for the sink going to outside, but I can't always be uh, somewhere where it's appropriate to drain. So for the other times, I'm gonna get it to drain in here. So now I just have to connect this to that, make a hole in this so that it can drain in here and then uh, when it's full-ish I can bring it outside. So I'm probably gonna regret this but I'm putting a big strip of velcro to hold the gray tank in. Um, yeah it is a lot of velcro but water's heavy so hopefully it's not too impossible to get off. So I created this hose, I just have to put a clamp here and then I'll be able to connect it right over here. Surprising, but I did one thing unrelated to water this week. I put these planks on my back doors along with the metal sheeting. I think the results are really nice. I love this look. All I have to do is come over here. Turn on my propane tank. Let the water heat up a few minutes. And I have hot water. The only thing now is that I used to be able to just put on my water right here. My sink's right here. 
And now I have to go all the way back here and turn it on in the corner here. But once I have it on, I don't really have to shut it off until I drive off. Since we're talking everything water today, I might as well give you a little update on my sink. I still love it. It makes me feel at home. But um, I tend to use just a bowl inside because the sink itself is way too big. I really, I don't imagine ever needing that much water. So I just wash in here and uh, yeah, it works out great. I'm not gonna lie though, there still are some leaks. This, this is leaking. And this still leaks right over here. So I'm going back to the plumbing company that installed this for me getting them to tweak that and they're also gonna hook up my stove. 